Hello guys and welcome to Shadows, no, Shadow of Mordor. Um, this is a, um, if you haven't played this game, it is a lot of fun. Um, it is made by, it's made by the same people who do, who did, um, Batman. Um, so the gameplay is very similar, um, and the fighting is very similar, which you will see, I'll show you now. Um, as these guys are coming. Um, basically X is to do quick attacks, Y is to counter, and right bumper, and Y is to kill a downed enemy. So that guy is dead. Count him. So yeah, so this is very, very much, feels very much like Batman. But it's set in Middle Earth, and it is such a great game. Um, I've been playing this game for a while now, so um, I've done a fair few things in it. So just do it. Oh, sorry, it's right trigger and X. Oh no! Yeah, those wraith things are a bitch to kill. So, if you see, if you play this game and you see them, um, what you should probably do is run and let the goblins die instead. Um, they're not fun to verse at all. Um, there's a lot of stealth in this game as well, um, which is which is fun. Um, but yeah, that's not what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Uh, this video... Um, basically, uh, I've mentioned it a few times before, and you guys probably already know all about this, but, uh, last year I had, uh, an append I had appendicitis, and my appendix actually burst, actually, I should probably look at where I'm going, okay, where am I, okay, I'm there. No, I don't want to do any of that stuff. Um, I am going to find this artifact. That's the first mission I'm going to do. Okay, so, yeah, basically, last year, um, towards the end of last year, uh, my appendix burst. So, I was in the hospital um, for weeks, uh, for about a week and a half. Um with uh, appendicitis um, and having it removed. Um, I haven't really talked about it either on my blog or on video um, of what what it actually was like and what actually happened. Um, basically, so that's, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Um, I'm also going to be discussing a few things um, so that you guys will hopefully be able to help out somebody who may be in a, may be in a similar similar such situation um, and kind of understand how they are feeling about it. Um, so yeah, so to start off with, um, I was pretty much... Oh, I want to hide from this guy. Um, so to start with, I was pretty much in... Um, it started off on a Thursday night. Um, I was in, um, basically, I was in the toilet um, for all night, pretty much, um, puking my guts up on a Thursday night, uh, and uh, which was not pleasant at all. Um, yeah, so that that's basically how it started. Um, and then from there, I kind of, um, I am a North, an exile. Never let me forget that. Yours never can. Okay. Very interesting. All right. I have to pass through this gorge without being seen. So that's going to be interesting. Um, all right. So yeah, so basically started on Thursday night. I was puking my guts up. Um, let's run for the wall. Um, and yeah, so basically after that, um, I was feeling weak and sore, um, my stomach hurt, um, 
and I was tired and I ended up sleeping on the bathroom floor. Um, that part was actually the best part of the whole appendix surgery, believe it or not. Um, yeah, every, that, that was probably the, the, the best part about it. Um, everything else was not pleasant from there on. Um, then from there, um, I still had a... Um, I still had a tummy cake. Um, my stomach was really, really sore. Um, my um, yeah, my tummy was really, really sore, and I th I um, I was in a lot, a lot of pain. Um, there wasn't a lot I could do about the pain. Um, it kind of felt better when I kind of squeezed my belly kind of put pressure on it um that's what made it feel better not a lot better but kind of enough to be able to move around and that sort of thing um at this point um i had no idea that i had appendicitis um it was kind of it was i kind of only mentioned it once and said to my wife, oh, it could be appendicitis, but I doubt it um, because I'd be in a lot more pain. Um, but it was appendicitis, um, but I find that out later. Uh, from there, um, because I was in pain, I thought I'd go to the doctor. Hopefully, they can. Um, hopefully, they can prescribe me some sort of medication to help with the pain. So that I can kind of, you know, get through it and get over it, basically. Um, when I went to the doctor, he felt around and he was basically like, uh, look, you know, because you were puking all night, it could just be um, muscle tightness um, because I had been puking all night. My muscles would have been sore from throwing up. So he said it could be, it could be that. So... He prescribed some pain medication um, to help with the pain. Um, and then, um, yeah, he prescribed some pain medication to help with the pain and um, said that if, if it's still hurting tonight, um, then the only other thing that it could be is, or if I still got the same pain or worse pain, that the only thing it could be is appendicitis. So... Um, from there, I was kind of like, all right, you know, that's that's fine. I understand that's how it would work. Um, so I basically just went from there and was just like, okay, um, go home, try and sleep as much as I can, and then um, see how the pain is later on. Um, I basically slept. I got home, took the pain medication, and I fell asleep probably about 11 and then I woke up at about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I was pretty much out cold for about 12 hours, um, which is obviously what I what I needed um, because I needed to sleep. Um, but I woke up, the reason why I woke up was because I was in an immense amount of pain. Uh, the painkillers would have worn off way before I woke up. Um, oh. Um, yeah, so I would have had, um, I was in a lot more pain than, um, what I, uh, was when I woke up. My painkillers would have worn off way before then, um, but I was just in a lot more pain. Now, I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know what actually happened, whether or not something burst or something like that, um... But I don't think my appendix actually burst at this point. Um, I think it was at a later point. Um, what, what I think happened was that it just got it just got worse. Um, so yeah, so then we basically then my wife basically said, you know, look, we need to go to the hospital um, because you're in a lot more pain, and you know, as wives do, they worry about you and you know, want to make sure that you're okay. So, yeah, so that's, so then I went to the hospital, um, went to the hospital about 10 o'clock at night, 
um, ended up waiting at the hospital till about three in the morning before I got seen. I was in the emergency room. Um, um, yeah, so basically I was in the emergency room and was there for a while, um, but then eventually got taken to the doctor. Um, he did a probably about a 10 minute look over um, and basically said, yeah, you've got appendicitis. We need to remove your appendix as soon as possible. Um, which, you know, some people might be like, oh, you know, but he only looked at you for a few minutes, but it only took him like two seconds to go, yeah, you've got appendicitis. We need to remove that, that appendix now. So, yeah. So, um, I then basically, I got admitted, um, blood tests, all that sort of stuff. Um, as sort of what would normally happen. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, basically, um, what everything was all normal, what would happen, um, blood tests, um, and constantly being checked up. They put me on pain medication and basically said, you know, we try, we're going to try and get you in as soon as possible. Um, but for now, just rest as much as you can. So that was Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, I basically tried to sleep for as long as I could. Um, but I got woken up early in the morning, um, with an even, uh, more pain that was very, it's very, very hard to describe what the pain was, um, but I will try my best. Um, basically, what it felt like, even though I've never actually, this has never actually happened to me, um, what it felt like was that I got stabbed in the, I got stabbed in the stomach um, and that it was still, I still had kind of like whatever they stabbed me with, it was still in there. And it was being like twisted and turned and pushed from side to side, and um, that's that. That was basically what it felt like. Again, I'd never been stabbed, so I don't actually know if that's what stabbing feels like. But that's what I would imagine it's felt like. It just felt like I was being um, stabbed um, in the in the stomach. Ooh. Watch this, I can blow this up, ready? Wow. Um, yeah, so that's what it felt like. It felt like I was getting stabbed in the stomach. Um, at this point, I've told the nurses, look, I'm in an immense amount of pain. There, I need to, I need to do something about this now because it's, it's a lot of pain. Um, they basically said, look, we'll try and get you in as soon as we can. Put the code here, click the intel there. Um, yeah, basically they were like, you know, look, we'll get you in as, as soon as we can. Um, but, you know, there's some people in the surgery that uh, Kate, your Kate, that they might take precedence for. But seeing how it seems like your appendix has actually gotten worse... This is the point where I thought that my appendix blew up because of the immense, immense amount of pain I was in. That's when I kind of thought, yeah, my appendix has probably exploded by now. Um, um, I kind of really don't remember a lot of what happened after after the doctor talked to me. Um, but from what I was actually told by my wife and my dad and all that sort of stuff that were there was that... Um, I was pretty much writhing in pain um, and I occasionally stopped moving around and what they thought was that um, what what my dad and my wife thought was that um, I basically were just tied myself up out by rolling around in pain. Um, they don't think I actually like passed out from the pain or anything like that, but more so just was in so much pain that I just tired myself out. Um, so yeah, and then um, from there, um, basically um, 
I, it was just waiting. Um, I basically had to just wait um, for my surgery time to come up. Um, it was scheduled for Saturday um, morning, um, first thing in the morning when the surgeon got in, um, which would have been um, probably at about uh, 9, 10 o'clock, I think it was scheduled for. Um, but then what happened was um, it uh, it had to get postponed because um, a lady was pregnant and um, she had to give a C-section straight away because um, they just said that they had to rush her in to get a C-section. Um, kind of thought probably because, you know, it, either she would either she was dying or the baby was dying, but I'm not going to speculate on what it was. That's probably most likely the case, but um, it could have been just simply um, she just wanted the baby out, which is fair enough when you're at that point. Um, but yeah, so basically um, I ba basically was postponed um, until uh, I was postponed as the last surgery because um, it was basically her... Um, and uh, another lady, there was two ladies that had to have C-sections straight away that came in at the same time. So basically it was both of them and then I was next after that. So from from then, I think my scheduled surgery changed to like two o'clock, one, two o'clock. Um, and I was still in pain at this point. Um, all this stuff that I'm saying now, by the way, is... It's this. It's stuff that I wasn't aware of at the time. This is stuff that I've been told about after after the fact. Um, like I said, I was in so much pain. Um, I can't. I can't. I couldn't actually remember exactly what was going on. Um. So yeah. So that's basically. Um, oh, okay. Don't need to grab that. Um. So basically, that's what happened with that i won't pick up the intel now i don't need it now um so yeah so basically that's where that's basically what happened um up to that point and um i will continue the rest of the story in the next video so i'll see you in the next one